everybody my name is Rudy you're watching Alpha Investments on the fancy version today we've got ourselves the dust covered man dust covered scourge you may remember this thing from a very very long time ago year was where was the year oh look premium cards one in 70 cards in this one I uh, can't find the year because I'm not paying attention there but good call 2003 there it is I believe this was the end of the Legions? On onslaught block, something like that. So again, thank you to my patron Edward W for uh, pretty much allowing all of us to share in this experience here. Uh, these very old, very unique products. Uh, Scourge was a weird, you know, a lot of people still call it. This was still not exactly the, the booming days of magic here. Uh oh, we got a box number at the bottom. Anyways. Yeah, this was still not really the full booming days. We got the Mrs. Rudy here today to help us bring us some good luck because again, not a lot of financial value in this particular old set. Um, it's pretty much all about, you know, we do have a big old Sliver Queen type action, known as the, uh, I think it's Overlord. Um, we also have very expensive foil cards, and remember, we got to check the uncommons in this particular product. And of course, we'll look at some of the artwork, of course, and enjoy it. But the uncommons, there's a lot of, there's like a couple blue uncommons that have absolutely just epic financial value and still a lot of demand. <laughs> Clutch the undeath. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this, who is this guy? Like, Army of Darkness, who is this dude? Oh my goodness. So yeah, we got the Raptor here, we got Carbonized starting now, we got the Hunting Pack, Pack 1 Dimensional Breach. The old remove all permanents from the game, the old board wipe type of big old cards. Yeah, you know, I mean, this set was, it was not a heavy printed set. It, it, I mean, it did okay, it wasn't like a dumpster fire, but... It just really, some wild artwork. Look at the artwork. Like, what is this chick doing? Is this like old school Avatar chick? And uh, look at these sprouting vines. Look how detailed those those vines look. That's pretty sweet. And there's Rudy in the middle of the night. Scattershot. Zealous. Vengeful again here. Oh, okay. Here we go. So right out of the gate. Uh, Long-term plans. There's like a bunch of blue uncommons in this thing worth between like a near mint condition like this. They're like 3 to like $20 a card. So we'll try to put them aside. See if I can remember them all. Chill Haunting. Ah, uh, the Aberration. Um, don't know if that's still a thing. It used to be. Ah, uh, the Raven Guild Master. I love this. It's a creature, but he's a wizard. Mutant, but not human. Not human, though. Uh, yeah, I guess Morph was a thing in this particular set. I was never, I can never get, everybody always bashes me on that. I can't just, I can't get into the whole Morph thing and casting face down and turn it over. I, it just doesn't do much for me. I just don't like the vibe of that kind of thing. Spark spray. Look at this goblin. Look at this. Look, he thinks he's hot stuff. Anyways, wipe clean. We got a break. Unburden here. Treetop Rudy. Shoreline Rudy. Goblin in the pants. And Noble. Here we go. Cutthroat. Brain freeze. Okay. Uh, I think this is another one of those 5, 10, 15 dollar uncommons in near mint condition. So I think that's another. I could be wrong. You guys can bash me. But I think, because I remember there's like three or four blue uncommons. One with nature coming through. Silver Knight. Ah, uh, the old Siege Gang Commander. Look how clear that's drip. Uh, who? Christopher Muller. Look at that guy's hat. Look at that guy's hat. Okay. 
So, no foil so far. Uh, said foil ratio was 1 in 70 cards. So what is that? 1 every, what, 4 and a half packs, maybe? So this is pack 4, so we should be about there. Uh, any other weird uh, common cards we'll take a look at before we speed up the commons? I think there's some commons that are like 50 cents to a dollar, but nothing really dramatic. Oh my god, look at that old school artifact. Look at that machine! Oh my goodness. Morph of Zero, that's an interesting little card. And Thundercloud Elemental, a blue uncommon. I don't think, because I don't remember being the seven drop big old creature. I don't think that's much of anything. Alpha status, I know. I wish I could be that cool. And the Ancient Ooze. You know, there's always going to be some sort of market, niche market, of just ooze-related magic cards. It's kind of like the Hydras, kind of like the Split cards. They're just certain archetypes and creative, just... There's just certain subcultures of magic that are always going to be fans of that stuff. It just kind of is what it is, everybody. Alright, I start zipping through these commons, unless I see anything else that's kind of neat. Alright, heading to the uncommonly. Actually, we got to see that. Look at this dude. That's like Rudy's breath on a Wednesday morning. Oh my goodness. Misform Warchief. I don't know if that's one of the expensive uncommons. Silver Knight. That's interesting versus the black or white knight. That's kind of cool. Goblin Psychopath. Is that literally what Reddit thinks of me? I feel like that's literally my, like, self-portrait from high school. Be honest. Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, foil rare. Our very first foil is an insane looking... Goodness, great. I can't even see if that's... I think it's a rare. But the reflection on the camera right now is so insane. Exiled Doomsayer. All morph costs two more. Is this actually a thing? Because of all the morph coming back and that's kind of a hot thing. So we have a pack fresh exile doomsayer as our foil rare, and it, it looks like a flipping. Look at the colors of the rainbow. Taste the skittles. Okay. Well, that's yeah. It looks like a blue card now. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? The foiling is insane. Like, why did they stop doing foils like that, man? Had to be because of cost. You know it did. Like, you know the corporate suits were like, stop. Blowing all our money on those expensive... I feel like it has something to do with money. It always comes down to money. Am I right, everybody? All right, here we go. We're going then. This is what she said. Giggity. One with nature. Here we go. Gilded light. We got a carbonize. And a call to the grave. The old enchantment. Beginning of each player's upkeep. Sack a non-zombie creature. But at the end of the turn, no creatures are in play. Sack the call to the grave. All right, so it's a little... Uh, this kind of reminds me a little bit of drop a honey type action there. Kind of every turn you're kind of killing stuff off, huh? It's interesting. If I wait, if I knew how to play a Mujik Yugli Owing, just kidding. All right, here we go. So we're heading over here to see what we get here. Fatal Mutation. That is some ridiculous looking shenanigan artwork. Rudy the Psychopath and Goblin War Chief. Um, I didn't realize there were so many Goblin uh, archetypes in this. Up, oh, up. Oh, we got a foil. We got uh, Upwelling for our rare. Uh, mana pools don't empty at the end of phases or turns. Holy potatoes! I've never heard of this card! Holy crap! That is fascinating! Mana pools don't empty at the end of phases or turns. This effect stops mana burn. Okay, that's... Is that a reserve? No, there's no reserve list in this stuff. Goblin Brigand. Now look at this foil goblin. Second foil, of course, absolutely stunning. Uh, Edward, crazy box, man. Like I said, so far we're getting some interesting... I'm really hoping to see some of that, that crazy uh, Sliver Overlord type action. But man, it is. Look at that infestation of Slivers on that land. Enchant land, that's pretty sweet. Oh, look at that artwork for that goblin. Oh my god, that's awesome, everybody. You never know with these old sets, man. You never know what you're going to get. Here we go, everybody. War Chief for the Uncommon Beast. We got the Thrall. You guys think they're ever going to bring Thralls back from like Fallen Empires? I don't know. Gilded Light again, and Form of the Dragon. I feel like every time I see a dragon, it's just like, alright, well, it's, it, the logo of the set is dragons, so I mean... But again, you know, it's enchantment. Seven drop enchantment. It's not even an actual creature. Beginning of your upkeep, Form... Wait. Form of the Dragon deals five damage to a creature or player. So every turn it pops off five damage. The end of each turn, your life total becomes five. <laughs> alright, that's kind of... I feel like that'd be that'd be kind of a fun game to play. Ah, the old shenanigans, huh? The first thought, the first thing that crossed my mind when I heard that was like that. What was that card? The black card, where your life total is backwards. The lower your life title, the bigger the creature is. Death Shadow. That's the first thing I thought of. Sorry, but I can never remember what. All right. Anyways, moving forward. Moving forward here. 
Ah, we got the Blade Wing. We got Thrall again. We got Dragon Stalker. Fatal Mutation coming through with the Decree of Justice. All right. Um, I, I think I remember this card being one of the first cards I ever saw when I was younger. They had like the double white, a colorless, then the double X. I think this was the first time I saw that. Maybe like Recall or another card from Legends. I remember seeing it. But this wasn't really a very common thing back then. You know, not many cards had that kind of, um, I don't know, the double X's. Is there even a triple X? Does that exist, anybody? <laughs> oh, God. I just realized the comment section. Oh, Rudy? Triple X exists. Hashtags Rudy's Basement Triple X. I feel like I just like set myself up by saying, does Triple X exist? Oh, my goodness. Oh, the comment section of this video. Hey, look what we got here. Uncommon, the old Metamorphs, huh? That is a wild-looking sliver enchantment, I guess. And Parallel Thoughts. I do remember Parallel parallel Thoughts. Can't even say that so quickly. Enchantments, I don't think that one's like a heavy hitter, but I think it used to be, maybe. It's tough to remember some of those old cards, because like every so many years, the perception of cards shifts based on the age of the card. So it's very difficult to remember, like, the values and everything that's shifting. Reign of Blades! I feel like that was, like, a portal card. All right, Pyrostatic Pillar. Undead Warchief. Isn't Undead Warchief, isn't that worth something? I swear I remember this card. And, like, a couple years back, I sold, I, had, I found a bunch of these uncommons from this from years ago. And I put, like, 20 of these on eBay. And, like, three days later, somebody bought, like, all 20 of these for, like, 50 bucks or something. I can't remember, that card just looks really familiar. I'm probably screwing it up, but whatever. Ambush Commander, everybody. Five drop for the two. Two force are also little tiny elf creatures. See, that was always uh, another thing I was a big fan of when I was younger, everybody. I really love the concept of uh, making a green deck and turning that leverages and utilizes all your lands turning into creatures. You know what I'm saying? Like some sort of getting like 20 force in play somehow and then having cards that turn all your lands into one ones or something and then playing spells where... All creature effects, you know, not just like target creatures, like all creatures get 2 2 or something. Arc of Blight, very cool old school artifact. Uh, kind of, ex well, I don't know. That's, I mean, first turn, two drop, maybe on a soul ring or something, and you can sack it and destroy land. I mean, it's not many land destruction cards in certain color decks because of the archetype. Or, I'm sorry, the pie or whatever it is. All right, moving on to, oh, thought we had this. All right, I'm not going to complain. I thought it was a sliver overlord, but still, we got the false god. I think the second. Or third best card in the set right now. Um, I haven't seen this card in years, everybody. Wow. Corona false... Wait. Oh, Corona. Oh, no. Crap, I can't even say that. Ah, oh, God. I just got hosed by Watsy, and they faked me with a Corona with a K. All right, well, I might as well say it now since it's over with. False God, five drop, floating Corona. Yeah, I'm screwed on this video. This video is not going to make a penny. Okay. I didn't even... Okay, that's really cool. I forgot about that card in the set. I kept thinking that was in Legions, not Scourge, but whatever. Extra Arms, coming through with the Zealot. Ooh, look at this guy. God, don't, don't, I wish I was that cool and muscular. Rudy, you're a nerd in the basement. You're not. I know, I know. Final Punishment. Look at this old school man. Who drew that? Matt Thompson, look at you. I know. You know why I know I'm, I'm really cool? Guess which character is me? The one way in the corner, hiding. I know. It's okay, you can make fun of me. I'm a, I'm a big kid. I can take the hits. I can take the hits, everybody. All right, all right. Sorry, I'm playing around a lot in this video. All right, here we go. Moving back. Whoa, tendrils of agony. Goodness gracious. What kind of mind do you have to have to draw something like that? Temple of False God. Oh, I forgot there was even an uncommon land cycle in this product. Uh, I know the lands are terrible. You can read them. Pretty much, hey, at least it doesn't come into play tapped, right? Get two colorless there, at least, uh, but... Play it only if you control five or more lands. So it kind of forces you to not use it till what, turn five, six? Temple of False Gods. Love the artwork for the Uncommon. And hey, the Swarm. Eh. Uh, Eternal Master? Or Master, Modern Masters 2015. I know that was a reprint, the Swarm. I remember that card. I sorted some cards a while back. I think it's an Eternal Master reprint. I can't remember. What do we got here? Smiller again. Riptide Survivor. That's a little different there. A little morph action there. And Dawn Elemental. This is an Elemental I have not seen in a long time, but God, at least four. Not very often you see an actual four white for a casting cost. Uh, well, prevent all damage we dealt to it. All right, that's interesting. Kind of a, it's a good combat defensive card there. That's not too cool. I mean, not too cool. It's not too bad at all. All right, here. 
Wing shards, carbonized coming through. Unspeakable symbol. Do I look like that, everybody? Is that really what you guys think of me? And oh, oh god, these oh my god, these these legends, man. Blade wing. Look at these cards. I know what you're thinking, Rudy. Stop getting excited. The cards suck. I know what you're thinking. But come on, Edward. You agree with me. You love the set. I mean, look at this thing. Dude, look at Blade Wing the Risen. It's like Jurassic Park playing backgammon. Dude, that's an epic looking card. I know, flipping ridiculous casting costs for what it does, but still. It's really cool, man. I really like the innovation. Cabal Interrogator. Extra Arms again. Warchief again, and the Sulfuric Vortex. Ah, uh, what was that, everybody? That Vortex was Commander... No, Conspiracy. Conspiracy Rare reprint. Conspiracy 1 reprint. That's what it was from. Thundercloud. I'm telling you all. I think this old guy Rudy Grandpa card... I'm t I swear that card was like a $3 uncommon or something. Decree of Annihilation. Another one of these board wipes. Holy crap. 10 drop casting costs? <laughs> Wizards. I'm surprised Wizards doesn't have a card that's just like a 40 drop casting cost. That just says like you win the game, but you must actually tap 40 lands to play it or something. I'm surprised there's not something ridiculous like that. Runecaster. Look at this wizard guy. Is that like a Rudy pet kitty cat? Like what is that dude doing? Ah, the raptor. I told you there was uh, Jurassic Park in this. And a decree of justice again for the double tap. Okay. Always a good time, everybody, to relax on a nice weekend and go through Magic's Memory Lane from 2003. Long-term plans. We got a second one. We got a second long-term plans. Uh, Shaman? And, oh, some beast? Kurgan? I don't know what you are. Mischievous? What are you? Five-drop beast? Turn face down? Morph? Okay, so this is a weird, crazy beast guy turning up and down. And, oh, foil? Death's heads? Foil? But out of can speak. Foil common. Doesn't mean much. Alright. Very interesting stuff. Moving forward here. Tree top. Oh, sorry, it's a common. Riptide. Temple of the False God again. Are there any other uncommon temples? Is there a land cycle or is it just one uncommon land? Not really sure. Lethal Vapors. Okay. Don't even think I've ever even seen this card. A four drop enchantment. Creature comes into play. Just destroy it. Okay. Zero at any time. Activate. Destroy it. You skip your next turn. Um, okay. Can Maybe some shenanigans with that card. That's, that's a strange card. Maybe something where you can get a bunch of tokens or creatures created, or a bunch of creatures, and they go to the graveyard, some sort of uh, dread shenanigans or something? I don't know. Temple again. And Edgewalker, haven't seen you yet. Cleric spells you play cost two less. Are people building cleric decks back then? Hey, the Dragon Storm. It's actually the tutor for the dragon. I remember that card. Oh, Storm. I completely forgot about that mechanic. I remember the first time I saw this card back in, like, jeez, man. First year of college or something. I remember seeing that card going, oh, wow, it's a red tutor for dragons. How many red tutor cards are there? So I thought that was kind of a an interesting little card. But then I was like, holy crap, it costs nine to cast that bad boy. Flippin' expensive as anything, everybody. Reward the faithful. Hey, brain freeze. We got a second one. Okay. And root elemental. All right. Uh, so since that was only two uncommons, the foil should be uncommon, right? Yep. Oh, Arena Blades foil uncommon. That is gorgeous, man. Like, how can you all watching this video not tell me these are the, like, the most impressive foil cards in, like, human history of any trading card game? Like, it just stuns me how amazing these old foils were. And how they didn't foil the artwork so you could see the artwork crisply. And you could crisply read it without, like, interfering with, like, the actual art. It was the framing that was foiled. Ah, oh, whoa. Reward the faithful. What are you creepy people doing? Hey, un I swear if this undead war chief, I'm telling you all. And faces of the past. Look what we got here, ladies and gentlemen and creepers from Pluto. Faces of the past, huh? And a foil treetop Mr. Scout. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, man, what a fun video of me, dude. Edward, again, Edward W., thank you again for being patient a couple weeks and letting me get this video rolling for you. What a great, just what an awesome video, man. Skirk Vulcanist. Look at that guy. I wish I had skills to draw and do art like that. I do stick figure people. Arc of Blight and a Forgotten Ancient. Again, I love the artwork on this card. It's so, it has like this detailed kind of feel to it. 
I just think the artwork's great. I know it's not the, the greatest card and all that, but... All right, we are down to the last 12 packs, ladies and gentlemen, and creepy people in basements. We're going to see how we go. We got the old Metamorphs again. We got Screaming Rudy the Mutant. We got... Oh, Mind's Desire. Oh, my God. What is... Is that like a woman serpent with like a bear and like Rudy screaming on the ground? What the heck is that? Oh, baby, look at that. Uncommon Artifact Foil Machine. Dude, those old artifacts in foil are stunning. Holy smokes, those are stunning. Wow. Okay. Okay. We'll just go with that. Edgewalker, Extra Arms, and Day of the Dragons. I remember this was reprinted in a... Whoa! This... These, I'm telling you, these foils never get old. I can't even, like, I see, like, the reflection hits these foils, and it just takes my breath away. I'm telling you all. It's like the first time I bit into a taco. I didn't even know what the rest of life was. I didn't even know what else there was in life. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. We are in the last couple packs here. We're hoping for a still, I'd still like to see a Sliver Overlord. I know it's only, like, a $25 card, maybe, in Minty Fresh. I'd still love to see one. Root Elemental again. Duplicate, really? I just really like to see the old, like the, just the Overlord Sliver, which is so symbolic of this set, man. I just really want to, I just want to see one with, every, with all of you guys in the moment. It'd be so cool. Enrage? Ah! <laughs> oh, Rudy from the future. I think people are on to me. People are starting to get suspicious about Rudy the DeLorean in predicting the cards coming in the packs. Ladies and gentlemen, Sliver Overlord. The second, in my opinion, the second best Sliver card ever made behind Sliver Queen. Oh my god. Awesome! We actually did it. What an epic pull at the end of the video. What a good video today. Oh, Penman's Aura. Have we gotten this card yet? Is it uncommon? I thought this was... Isn't this like a $20 uncommon? I didn't even know this was in this set. Was this the other blue one I was... Wait a minute. Maybe I'm, I'm screwing up these uncommons. I'm sorry, everybody. I keep telling you guys these uncommon... Maybe I'm I'm the wrong set. I keep I keep mixing this set up with Legions and Onslaught. Sorry if I pulled these out and these aren't worth it. I swear these were like $5 or like $4 and like $15 or $20. But I maybe I'm wrong because this is the first time I've seen that card. Holy crap. Ancient Ooze again. Duplicate. Man, I swear those un I thought those were because I remember with well, these older sets had these ex certain uncommons that were worth a lot. All right, anyway, sorry, sorry, I apologize in advance if I keep messing up those prices, everyone. All right, Penmanzor again. Like, did we just go the whole video without seeing any of these, and now we just got two in a row? Because I thought I swear I used to sell this card for twenty dollars a piece. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm I apologize. Dragon Mage here, a big old flying seven drop five five. The old dealing combat damage. And pings away some cards, huh? Alright, here we go, folks. Well, it's just such fun times. I know these aren't like crazy overpowered cards in today's standards, but man, they're just so cool. And Cabal Conditioning. Holy smokes, would they even do artwork like that today? Look at that epic card, man. Set. Look at the casting cost of these cards in the set. Seven drop, seven drop. It was ten drop. Look at the casting cost. Holy smokes! Like, Wizards did not want that power level out of control after that Urza's era, man. They were just, they were, they played it conservative. Holy cow. Misform and the consum consumptive goo? I feel like if anyone in this world would understand goo, that would be me. But why do I not remember that card? I know there's a bunch of rares that are like $1 to $5, and I know I'm not really saying the prices because I'm just enjoying it. And there's the Undead Rudy again, old Grandpa Rudy that I used to think was a $5 card for some reason. And the Trap Digger. I was going to say Trap Dagger? Digger. Trap? I don't even remember this card at all. Soldier 4? Okay. Oh, loot. Two packs left, everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. What a great uh, what a great time. What a great video here today. And uh, what a great experience. Just, again, thank you, Edward, for allowing all of us to enjoy this. Oh, my goodness. Who is this dude? What? Like, is that going to be me when I retire? Who is that guy? Is that Onomatopoeia Nefushu Poo Poo? Pee Pee Poo Poo? Okay. Well, that's a way to end the video here. So, I guess we're wrapping it up. Last pack here today, everybody. Thanks again for watching. As always, everybody, I appreciate 
the support and kind words ending on a decree of pain. Another eight drop spell. But anyways, everybody, be safe out there. As always, remember, sometimes it's important, and I need to take my own advice, to just step back, calm down, and remember, don't be afraid to dig holes in your front yard. Jump in and just pretend to be a carrot for a few hours. It really does help. I'm telling you all.